Hi, it's Faceless Tech. Uh, something a bit different today. Uh, Merry Christmas as well, since it's December. Um, I've seen last year, Pi Hut were doing these um, solder your own uh, Christmas tree kits, PCB kits. Um, it's basically just a PCB board with um, hits on your Raspberry Pi header. Quite nice, I thought, oh, that's quite cool. Um, but didn't manage to get one last year, got one this year in September, then it come in November. In uh, middle of November, put it together. When I seen it first, I thought, "Wow, I could do a few different things with this." Basically, what it is is um, you've got three mil LEDs because there's the soldering kit, solder your own. There's two different ones. There's another one with um, uh, SMD uh, LEDs, which you could do the same mods to, but it'd be a bit more difficult. But I thought I'd just get a soldering kit because I haven't really done one before. Um, but with this kit, you know, we just get red LEDs, and you get a nice white one for the top. I thought, I know what I'll do, I'll order some uh, green and some blue LEDs to mix in with the red ones. And I also wanted to add a shutdown button um, and also a, mo a mode select button, uh, so which I've done to this. And I'll uh, first I'll give you a quick demo of a few different examples of it. And this is an off one, and it's, yeah, it's running headless, so when it turns on, it'll just be off. You can have it on. All the LEDs are on, as you can see. And then you've got uh, one that goes round, the different segments there. You get one that goes red, green, blue, yellow, red, red, green, blue. Um, and there's another one that just has random, random ones on and off. Uh, and then there's a chase mode, which just chases around the tree. As you can see from the top there, and it goes round. And then there's another one to turn off. Um, but yeah, to do the buttons, I, what I basically did was Soldered um, <clears throat> on the back of the LED, where it's got the two solder pads you solder to, put two bits of solder on, then bent the buttons round, bent the pins round on the bottom so they sit underneath the button, and then stuck it in place and then applied some heat to the back. And then it, obviously the solder took the heat to the front, soldered the buttons on the front. Uh, that's the shutdown one on the back out of the way. This is the mode select one. Uh, there's a few other things I'd like to mention. I stupidly took my thing out of the frame well, before looking at the instructions and the instructions tell you to keep it in because there's the places for where the headers it makes it a lot easier to uh, add the headers um, on the middle these middle bits these middle bits tells you where to put the headers you can look at the pictures it takes you a little bit longer but you know try and keep it in this whilst you're doing it also as well if you are going to do like me uh, with the button you also need to bridge yeah where your resistors go at the back because at first I put it on stupidly and I was like, why is my button not working? And then I realised, oh, yeah, idiot, I didn't uh, bridge the uh, resistor. You can just use a, um, a lead off one of the LEDs and you chop it off, just bend it over, stick it in. And that's it, yeah, and I'll show you the shutdown button. And there you go. Thanks for watching. As usual, in the description of your blog post, uh, or the bit of GitHub post for the um, code, awful example code, I'm going to tell you for the... Um, Lights, but yeah, thanks for watching and uh, Merry Christmas.